All right, so we're just gonna go through the process, my thought process, and then obviously watching me sketch this uh, four-armed, four-legged man thing that I did another attempt at working on my creativity. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing this, took more time than I thought it would. And uh, you know, in my adventure of learning to draw more, what I'm finding is it does take time. And that's sort of the process with everything. Uh, learning takes time, being good takes time, making quality things uh, takes time. So, you know, I'm just learning that again. And it's fun and frustrating at the same time. Um, first, I wanna go through what led to this idea. So I'm sketching and I'm really not happy with how this looks. I don't have a good process for uh, doing the outline of guys yet, uh, which actually I, I find a decent process watching one of my brother's drawing videos that I might post at, a, at another time. So I'm not really happy with how this is looking. So I try something else. Um, also not really happy, try something else. And then I end up seeing those like spiky hands and somehow this lets me see this, this figure, this four legged, four tentacled figure in the hand of, of this other uh, thing that I drew. So that ended up being the inspiration for the drawing today. So after that, we move on to this current drawing. So as I was saying earlier, I didn't have a great process before, but I watched one of my brother's videos that he sent me on how he drew. And this might be a typical thing, I don't really know, but the way he does sort of the chest and then the torso, I tried to copy that and then I, you know, put forearms on it. One thing that you'll be able to tell throughout this entire video is that I don't have a great way of doing hands yet and still, still, still don't. And that was something I struggled with and spent some time on, though I don't know if it will really show up. Instead of recording the amount of time, this records the brush strokes, so, so it doesn't always show how much time I spent on a specific part. One of the things my brother mentioned watching this that I hadn't really thought about is that all of my armor and different pieces look very 2D. He, he talked about maybe making thicker uh, lines. In the future, that's something I'm going to try doing. Um, I also enjoyed experimenting with layers on this one. So I had, you know, different layers for each of the different layers of clothing, like under layer armor. That was a lot of fun. And I was just experimenting with where I should put layers in the context of other parts of the figure. I didn't really mention it while it was happening, but you know, one of the cop-out things with heads, if you don't want to worry about drawing mouths and eyes and everything is throwing a mask on. So that's what I did here. But I wanted to bring out the idea of the eyes more. That's what the that uh, pink and yellow head stuff. Later on, I was unsure of what I wanted to do with the arms. I didn't really like where they were placed. Didn't know what to do with them. So that spike thing that you see is my attempt at to maybe changing the arms into spikes. I didn't really like where that was going either. I was going to have them have daggers. So I threw those swords in the background. Didn't love that. And then again, I did the cop out thing. Just made them doing magic. So I have the fire coming from the one. Um, and then in a little bit, you'll see the ice coming from the other one. I do enjoy making fire. I always think it looks kind of cool. It's obviously not the greatest fire in the world. The ice was I, was, I was a little less sure what to do with the ice. I just ended up doing variations of blue. I have no idea what I'm doing in the background. I looked at some stuff. I, I attempted it. You know, it's fun. It's all part of the learning process. Uh, hopefully I can keep improving that. You know, I figured I was, I was done working on it for now and ready to throw it up and work on the next thing. Thanks for listening. It's a lot of fun. Like and subscribe and comment below on anything you'd like to see or any improvements you could see in the drawing. I always welcome any feedback. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.